1.1 million marathon finishers a year. Average finish time for females of four hours, 46 minutes. Average finish time for males, four hours and 14 minutes. But every single one of us is out there trying to prove to ourselves, regardless of our finish time, that we can do it. The marathon is unlike many other sports that are out there in the world, if not any other sport out there in the world, where amateurs get to tow the exact same course on the exact same day, the same fans, the same distance, regardless of finish time, us and the professional athletes are all doing the same thing. We're out there trying to prove to ourselves we can conquer 26.2 miles, one step at a time, one training run at a time, one building block every single week for us to prove we can finish the same marathon as those that do it for professional careers. This week, week 12, was one of those weeks where I just needed to put one foot in front of the other, accomplish what was on my training plan, and just embrace and embody what it is to be in the marathon training cycle. 65 miles this week with over 5,000 feet of climbing. It was definitely one of those weeks that I know I got better to proving to myself this is the best year for my marathon training yet. Monday morning, 3.30 a.m., I had to jump up and over the coastal hill into Silicon Valley to catch a flight, heading out to Park City, Utah for a couple work meetings. And so, the training was at 7,000 feet. And despite all of the beauty and all the amazing things that Park City has, that 7,000 feet hitched really, really hard. Landed, was able to get a couple miles in before our first meetings on Monday, and then come Tuesday morning, before the morning early meetings, went out and knocked out 12 miles in some of the most beautiful trails and roads that I've ran on in quite some time outside of the wonderful state of California. Really enjoyed the couple days out there before jumping back over to Silicon Valley and get back to the regular training routine at home. This week's training called for a lot similar to what we had at the end of last week. I knew my legs were gonna be tired as I was riding this training block and that's what ended up happening. This week, all easy runs, except for on Wednesday, I had either a more challenging hard trail run or had written 12 times one minute on, one minute off. Because of the way the work week landed and the way that things fell, I jumped on the trail, was able to get a couple miles in, well over a thousand feet of climbing and a couple uphill tempos to add in there. But one of the things that was interesting about this week is I definitely almost stepped on what would have been a new friend that I was not so excited to see. The cool part that I'm really starting to enjoy in Northern California, although I have a ton of trails near my house in Santa Cruz County, there are so many trails. So if I'm finishing my work day in Silicon Valley or up in North Bay or anywhere else, flip on all trails app, see where the trails are around where I finish work, go out, get a run, allow traffic to die down before I head back to the coast. Came back into Santa Cruz County for Thursday and Friday runs, leading into the one workout of this week, which was Saturday. Uploaded the workout into my Garmin as I got my stretches done, which is something that I absolutely love doing. Upload that workout before, so that way when I do hit those repeats, it just focuses on the repeat. All right, another long run weekend. Somewhere between 16 and 17 miles. Some pickup miles with two miles on, a little off. Somewhere between one, one and a half miles on, and a little bit off, and then do it again. So, get this done. Beautiful day here in Northern California. You go hit that. Same farm road from last week, about a thousand feet of climbing. So, all right, here we go.
set one was solid about a 610 average for the first one about a 555 i think for the other mile time to get set two done Whew. felt really really controlled which is the goal don't overgo no hero reps let's do it Tempos done, about a 5.45 average on that last one. All right, time to finish out this little jog. A couple more miles left. Oh, felt really good. Shockingly surprised on that one. As I wrap up week 12 of my training plan, I am beyond excited about how the body is feeling and how the legs are handling this training. Like I said on the front end of this video, 65 miles, the most miles I've ran in over a year in a week, and that was with over 5,000 feet of climbing. So I've never put in 5,000 feet of climbing in any marathon training block. So this is a huge step in the right direction for where I'm going. <music>